Hi guys, welcome back to another reaction video. It's Steph here. Um, this is a timed exclusive, so if you're eventually watching this on YouTube, I invite you to join our community on Patreon so you can be a part of choosing these weekly films that I watch because I have a lot to, to experience. <laughs> And for this week, you guys chose Interstellar, so that's what we're going to be watching today. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> I've heard some things. So without further ado, let's begin this journey. I'm assuming that's her father. No such thing as ghosts, but... Grandpa says you can get ghosts. So you have like PTSD? You're like nightmares? He's a good actor. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> well, when we set the table, we always set the plate upside down. Glasses or cups, whatever it was, upside down. Wow, even in the home? Parent-teacher conferences. Parent, not grandparent. Slow down, Turbo. Oh, he's gotta go. Repopulating the earth. Start pulling your weight, young man. Oh, she's she start minding your own business? Old oh, man. So, he became a farmer after the crash, quote-unquote, that he's having nightmares about? Murphy's Law. Well, Murphy's Law doesn't mean that something bad will happen. What it means is that whatever can The music is... Will happen. Why is he following it? Um. Why? You told me to keep driving. Well, I guess that answers the old if I ask you to drive off a cliff scenario. <laughs> Did he. Did he kind of like hijack it? Just please try not to. Hey, relax. Got this. Is she kind of like a troublemaker? Come on. You're a well educated man, Coop, and a trained pilot. And an engineer. Mmm, pilot. I was trying to figure it out. I was trying to figure out that word. I believe we went to the moon. I believe it was a brilliant piece of propaganda that the Soviets bankrupted themselves, pouring resources into rockets. I feel like we were talking about this on stream the other day. Not this specifically, but same element of school. She's going through a bit of a baseball phase. Her favorite team's playing. There's gonna be candy and soda. I think I'll take her to that. I got you suspended. What? <laughs> this is Cooper, go. Something's interfering with the compass. Magnetism. Some such. Something's, so something's up. Like, something's going on. That's strange. It's interfering with everything. I know what Morse code is, but I just don't think your bookshelf's trying to talk to you. I can't think of what it could be. 15th of April, I think. This could just happen about 1.30 when that thing came off the top of the canyon. Documentary type of? I think that's great. You think that's great? You hate Barn and Dad. Grandpa said. Grandpa said, huh? <laughs> So they're going through some type of like dust storm. That's scary. Uh, gang, let's mask up. Tom Murph. N95. <laughs> Tom it's like a hurricane of, of dust. Murph! Oh my. The ghost. Grab your pillow. Sleep in the town. What? Books fell down? Or the window? Is that why she said that? I wonder what he's like, calculating. It's not Morse, Murph. It's binary. Thick is one, thin is zero. Coordinates. Coordinates? <laughs> what? Here we go. 
She got that from the dust. Grandpa will be home in a while. Tell him I call him on the radio. The, th that part confused me as to... What are you doing? <laughs> oh, you think this is funny? Uh-huh. You wouldn't be here if it wasn't for me. As to how, like, what was he searching for? Because he's going somewhere as if something was... As if it was kind of like a message that he received or something. Those were meant to be broken. <laughs> Step away no, no, from no, no, the no, fence! No, no, no. Don't shoot, don't shoot. I'm not armed. My daughter's in the car. Don't be afraid! Don't be- don't be afraid? You had the coordinates for this facility marked on your map. Where did you get those coordinates? Where's my daughter? Don't make me take you down again. Sit down! I'm in a robot? I got grunts like you mowing my grass. Where did you find those coordinates? That's what I'm asking. They're old and their control units are unpredictable. It's what the government could spare. Who are you? Dr. Brand. I love her. I don't know anything about you. I don't know anything about this place. That's true. Oh. Oh. He's lying? Dad. Hello, Cooper. Oh. Professor Brand. Um, well, what sort of gravitational no, line? Where no. was this? Hey. Are they... NASA. NASA. The same NASA you flew for. What the... And your daughter's generation will be the last to survive on Earth. Murph was feeling a little tired and was wondering if she could take a nap in my office. Yeah. That's, that's crazy. Lazarus came back from the dead. Sure, but he had to die in the first place. There's not a planet in our solar <laughs> Where'd you send him? Cooper, I can't tell you any more unless you agree to pilot this craft. What? But something sent you here. They chose you. Well, who's they? What? So they won't even tell him anything until he agrees to be a pilot for that? Who's they? We started detecting gravitational anomalies almost 50 years ago. Oh my gosh, she agreed. But of all these anomalies, the most significant is this. Out near Saturn. So it was intentional? That wormhole. Let's us travel to other stars. They've put potentially habitable worlds right within our reach. Twelve, in fact, from our initial probes. I think he's in Black Mirror. Led by the remarkable Dr. Man. Each person's landing pod had enough life support for two years. Oh no, the Hunger Games. That's where it was. One system with three potential worlds? A long shot. Okay. Hmm. We find a home. Then what? The long shot. There's a plan A and a plan B. Did you notice anything strange about the launch chamber? Well, they're waiting for him to respond. Suddenly we knew that harnessing gravity was real. So I started working on the theory and we started building this station. Well. The real difficulty with colonization is genetic diversity. That takes care of that. Yeah, what about the people here? You just... Yeah, I was gonna ask them. That's why plan A is a lot more fun. So they're preparing for all. I wonder if he'll tell her. Oh. She probably knows then. I'm assuming from the upset. Go. If you're leaving, just go. This world was never enough for you, was it, Coop? Like, uh... I forgot about that too. The very first conversation of the movie. Tom will be all right, but you gotta make things right with Murph. I will. Without making promises you don't know you can keep. Oh, thank goodness. I was hoping that he wouldn't leave without actually saying an actual goodbye. Look at this, it says stay. Why? You're not listening! It says stay! <laughs> Coming back. When?
Don't make promises you can't keep. You have no idea when you're coming back. No idea. Oh! oh don't, don't mind. Don't make me leave like this. Come on, Murph. Don't make me leave like this, Murph. Hey, I love you forever. You hear me? I love you forever, and I'm coming back. That sucks. I'm coming back. I hope nothing happens. How to go? I'm fine. It's fine. Oh, and the sun, I forgot. Trouble safe, yeah. Huh? You look after our place for me, alright? Right? Mm -hmm. Go for our main engine. Start T minus 10. Seven. Yeah! Six. Five. Main engine start. Four. Three. Two. One. Booster ignition and. Well. Deactivate probe heater one and two and three. Check. I wonder how silent it is to like actually be in that position. You're coming up on the endurance. 12 minutes out. That was fast. I didn't think it would happen so soon. It's like no pressure. I'm like nervous for them. <laughs> That's nerve wracking. Are we ready to spin? This is it. You know how much getting used to that would <laughs> that would take. <laughs> what are they? I don't know what they're doing. How's gravity treating you back there? Wow. Oh, I see. You're right. Mm. Yeah, I just need a minute. <laughs> the hot pot. I'm just gonna go get that. Oh. Might be in the cryo bay. I'll just be a sec. Hey, Brian? Yeah. Bring a lot. <laughs> That's so sick. I love that it also has like a background of the actual science that goes behind of what the movie's about. Do not go gentle into that good night. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. Awesome. <laughs> Cling to while it catches its breath. We need to find that rock. Our three prospects are at the edge of what might sustain humans. It's cool because I, I'm like learning all the things that they, they do. I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> uh, Wolf Edmonds is here. Come in, Matt Edmonds. I'm assuming he's showering. <laughs> this crew represents the best of humanity. Even me, huh? Eh? You know what? We agreed 90%. Why are you whispering? They can't hear you. <laughs> they close? I wouldn't know. Is it 90% wouldn't know or 10% wouldn't know? I also have a discretion setting, Cooper. Hmm. Not a poker face, Lynn. Or is that like their beds? What? I mean, I'm just. Very curious. Hey guys, uh, Dad's about to go down for the long nap, so I wanted to give you an update. Uh, Gareth looks amazing. I forgot that he he's able to do that. She's pretty upset with him for leaving. If you record any messages, I can get them transmitted to Cooper. Oh wow! I mean, I assume you can send it back, but I just. There's something about the unknown, the infinite. It's just... All right, I gotta go, Dad. Hope you're safe up there. I'm sorry, Coop. I asked Murph to say hi, but she's as stubborn as her old man. 
We'll try again next time. I would think that she'd want to send like a video or something just because of how she ran out before he he left, but I guess not. This gets to me, Cooper. This millimeters of aluminum, that's it, and then nothing. Out there for millions of miles won't kill us in seconds. Hmm. That's awesome. You would expect it to be like music or something, but I didn't expect it to be that, which makes it all the more special. I guess. Guys, looks like we'll be approaching the wormhole in about three hours. Three. Three hours? But it's too far, right? Mm hmm So a wormhole bends space like this, so you can take a shortcut through a higher dimension. That's so... But who put it there? Who do we have to thank? I wonder if there's a book like that talks about stuff like that. I would love to to read it. You mean a science book? Yes. <laughs> but one specifically for this. Uh, the others made it, right? At least some of them. Well, there it is. I have like scientific questions if <laughs> everything's going on, but what is that? What is don't don't What was that? First handshake. We're... we're here. I mean, technically, would you even be able to go back? Seeing what they just went through? Maybe they were never meant to go back? Like, is that... Miller's is, is on the horizon? Oh, it's a basketball around a hoop. Landing there takes us dangerously close, and the black hole that big has a huge gravitational... Yeah, that's... that's... Oh, how bad. Well, every hour we spend on that planet will be seven years back on Earth. One hour, seven years? I am thinking about my family and millions of other families. Okay, plan A does not work if the people on Earth are dead by the time we pull it off. Mm. No, you don't. And just think about the resources, including time, that would be spent trying to get back here. Hmm. So the, they're just on different pages? But make sure we stay in range of Miller's planet. You got it? I wouldn't leave you behind, Dr. Brand. Hmm. Romilly, are you reading these forces? Unbelievable. A literal heart of darkness. It just, it's, it's just so mind blowing. That, that this is how it technically works. A little caution would go and get you killed, just like reckless driving. Yeah. Well, very graceful. No, but very. <laughs> yeah. This way. Uh, for some reason, I didn't expect. Oh, never mind. They calculated it. That's why. For bacon. Wait. Wreckage. Where's the rest? Where's the mountains? Oh, there's- well, I mean, there's definitely something there. Those aren't mountains. They're waves. We need the recorder. Oh my- oh my. It would take way too long for him to start it up, right? We're not leaving without her data. Get back here now. No, we do not have time. Yo, that seems so far away. The swell. I got it. Get your ass back to the ranger now. 
Rand, get back here now! No, Cooper, go! Cooper, go! I can't make it! Go! Case, go get her! Go! Get up. Get up, Rand. Go, go, go! Oh, it's definitely fast. Angle the overriding inside hatch! Oh my god, they're they're dragged. Can it can it can it even survive that type of Can it survive that type of impact? Why Get did your you ass back here? The difference is one of us was thinking about the mission, right? We were thinking about getting home! I was trying to do the right thing! Can you tell that to Doyle? <laughs> hey, Samus, down! This stuff of life, huh? What's this gonna cost us, Brain? A lot. Decades. How long have they been? Well, we got this far in our brains, farther than any human in history. Well, not far enough. And now we're stuck here, till there won't be anyone left on Earth to save. They communicate through gravity, right? Yes. Could they be talking to us from the future? Mm. I'm still very confused about the they thing, but... That rolls out down a ten-year-old. The world's ended. Cooper? God, there's another wave. I did not expect that they were going to put that scene in there, I'm going to be honest. Hello, Rob. I've waited years. How many years? By now it must be. It's 23 years, four months, eight days. Doyle? Oh my god, sorry. New theory. I mean, reality's different. I mean, just being there waiting for 23 years is. There's nothing here for us. I had a couple of stretches. I stopped believing you were coming back. Something seemed wrong about dreaming my life for me. I learned what I could from the black hole. Don't doubt anything I say. We've got years of messages stored. Cooper. Messages span 23 years. Oh my god. I play it from the beginning. Hey, Dad. Checking in, and I um, finished second in school. This curl is still giving me C, so pulled me down, but you know, second's not bad. Grandpa attended the ceremony. <laughs> um, oh, I met another girl, Dad. I uh, I really think this is the one. Her name's Lois. Start right there. Murphy stole Grandpa's car. She crashed it. She's okay though. Hey, Dad. Look at this. Your Grandpa. Oh dear. Oh dear. Uh oh. Say bye bye, Grandpa. Bye bye, Grandpa. It's okay. Sorry, it's been a while. Oh, Grandpa died last week. We buried him out in the back 40 next to Mom and Jesse. Which is where we would have buried you if you'd ever come back. Orph was there at the funeral, and uh, we don't see her that much, but she came for that. Hey, Dad. Was that the first video she ever sent? And it's a special one because you told me. 
the same age. You once told me that when you came back, we might be the same age. And today I'm the age you were when you left. <laughs> this might be a real good time for you to come back. I didn't mean to intrude. It's just that I've never seen you in here before.